You see that? You know what I'm saying? Romans, Romans 15, verse 20. Yeah, so I have strived to preach the gospel. Not where Hamashiach was named, since I should build upon another man's foundation. Verse 20. Yeah, so I have strived to preach the gospel. Not where Hamashiach was named, since I should build upon another man's foundation. Verse 20. Yeah, so I have strived to preach the gospel. Not where Hamashiach was named, since I should build upon another man's foundation. Yeah. Hey, we don't want to see that. Yeah, we got to go to put it there. Can we make this up? That's a snake right there. That's a snake in his mouth. Yeah, we got to go to put it there. Look at this. Can we make this up? That's a snake right there. That's a snake in his mouth. Yeah, we got to go to put it there. Look at this. Look at this. Can we make this up? That's a snake right there. That's a snake in his mouth. Hey, can we make this up, man? Hey, 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 this, hey, this, hey, what y'all bring out, Mark Four? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got some scripture. St. Matthew 23, verse 33. Ye serpents and generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I sent unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shah, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shah. Call Halayim La, all praises to Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that taught me this truth. And those are the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. And peace, blessings, and safety to the elect of the nation of Israel. My name is Brother Yaquan Amana, coming back with another lesson, Lord willing to edify the lambs of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. The name of this one is. The man with the serpent in his mouth. Or the man with the snake in his mouth or something to that effect. And uh, this is coming from, the inspiration comes from uh, last week at camp. Or not last week, so like hey, yes, yesterday at camp. Um, that was probably one of the craziest camps I've ever experienced. I think the only camp that was up there as far as, um, you know, a chaos and you know, intensity and persecution and, you know, was and rage was uh, when we had uh, one Saturday we went downtown to teach and um, there was a gay pride parade, you know, that we didn't really know about beforehand until we got down there. And uh, that was a crazy camp, you know, being surrounded by, you know, um, the demons. But this this camp yesterday, man, that was probably the craziest camp that I've ever been a part of and I've ever prophesied in the midst of. And um, during that camp, you had all type of spirits, all type of demons coming up. And these demons, they were teaming up, you know, and they were coming against us. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, we stood firm and we stood stiffly for the name of the Lord and the doctrine of the Lord. But um, you had this guy that walked up with a, with a snake in his hand, you know, and that's exactly how we know that Satan was heavy in the midst uh, of, of that of that uh, council, but if this council be of men, let's get that. Satan was heavy in the midst, so much to the fact that he he had to, uh, sh you know, symbolically show himself. This is Acts chapter five, verse uh, thirty-eight. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this council or if this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it, lest haply ye be found even to fight against the Most High. So they were unable, you know, to, to, to take us off the block, man, because they wanted to intimidate us off of, off of the street, man. That was their whole job. You know, that was Satan's whole job. And Satan came, you know, immediately because well, the camp started with a couple of sincere brothers, you know, actually listening. Uh, Mark four fourteen, the sower sow of the word. We were out there sowing the word. We are the sowers of the of that vineyard. Okay, it says the sower sow of the word. When we sow the word, we 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 toss these seeds out, you know, and 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 uh, it, it falls on various grounds, you know, whether stony, whether good ground, whether whether uh, uh, it's immediately burned and scorched, 
you know this is the sower sow of the word and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown you got various different individuals out there where the word was sown it says but when they heard but when they have heard satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts so that's what was taking place man you know and so much to the fact like i said symbolically that uh satan had to you know show himself man you know send a, 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 a spiritual sign you know through that demon and it, and you guys couldn't see in the video but one of his contacts one of his contacts it was a it was like a serpent eye and he put he had the snake in his hand and he put the snake in his mouth okay and he was telling, he was saying how he didn't believe in uh, the Bible and he didn't believe in nothing that we were saying, but yet he was there to, to, to send a sign, to send a message from Hashatan, you know? Let's go, um, Matthew 23, verse. Thirty-one. It says, Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves, that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? How can These people are not going to escape that nuclear fire, man. You know, our people are stiff-necked, hard-headed, rebellious, and, di and, 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 and people that provoke of Yahweh to anger continually to his face, man. They have no fear of the Lord whatsoever. It says, verse 34, Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall crucify, kill and crucify, and some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of the righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Barakas, Barak, Barakias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. And you're going to have men that are going to be put to death for this word, man, whether out on the highways and byways, you know, or whether uh, Esau Edom puts us to death and, and, you know, and beheads us. But you're going to have men that die for this truth. Elder Abba Bivens died for this truth because of wicked niggas like that. Because Elder Abba Bivens didn't have a camera, you know, that could, uh, you know, so uh, carnally, you know, give him some security, man. Because if it wasn't for the camera yesterday, they, we would have been, we would have been getting jumped, man. Period, man. The only reason they didn't because... The cameras was rolling, okay? And that's an open and closed case in Esau's court system because it had been on camera. But if there was no camera, we was not recording, they would they would have they would have tried to beat our ass, man. Showing you that we're, we're we're preaching the right thing because they did the same thing to the disciples. Luke 10, verse 19. It says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents, okay? Luke 10 and 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You see, but because the angels was there. The angels was there. It wasn't the cameras that protected us, you know? Cause I don't, we didn't got in fights on camera too, you know, but we didn't got in altercations on camera too. But chiefly, it was the angels of the Lord, you know, and Yahweh that, that that put the angels of the Lord around us to protect us, man, and gave us power over serpents, over these wicked spirits, man. You know, we we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. Let's get that. Ephesians 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yeah, and those demons were high-level demons, man. 
you know, I was watching the, the camp video, man, and the dude, he was, he kept yelling at the top of his lungs, and one time he was like, he was screaming, he was like, uh, you don't know something, 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 you don't know, you don't know what you're talking about, this and that. He was like, don't play with us, man, don't play with us. He said us, but he, he was there by himself. Who is the us? The us is the legion of demons that's in him, man. And he don't even, he don't even, he doesn't even, he's not even conscious enough to know that he says things like that. The spirit just brings it out. He, he literally came up by himself. He had nobody there with him. Although he was trying to get people on his side that was walking past, he had nobody there with him. He came in there by himself. But he's talking about, don't play with us. Like, you, if, if, if he was in his right mind, he would say, man, don't play with me, man. You, why, are you, why are you trying to play with me? Why are you trying to play with me? He kept saying, us. Don't play with us. Why are you trying to play us? <laughs> so that's them legion of demons that was in him, man. Ephesians 6 and 12, before we wrestle not against flesh and blood. He was, he he told me, he looked me in the face, he said, I want to fight you so bad. He said, I want to beat your ass so bad. I want to beat your ass so bad. <laughs> For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, okay? But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. And the rulers of darkness of this world have set up the Book of Mormon to deceive people into thinking that Caleb was the Edomite and Job was the Edomite and the mark of the beast is money. That's what these books were set up to do, to cause confusion to you Israelites here in these last days against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, against spiritual wickedness in high places, okay? Let's go. Luke. 10 one more time and 19 behold i give unto you power to tread on serpents okay and scorpions so we have power over these demons we have power over these evil spirits man let's look at that word tread it says to trample to crush with the feet to advance by stepping setting foot on to tread upon to encounter successfully the greatest perils from the machination and persecution with which satan would fain thwart the preaching of the gospel man that's exactly what we experience man that's exactly what we experience and we tread treaded upon serpents and scorpions man even a literal serpent and scorpion man it says it says, let's read this again. It says, to advance by setting foot upon, tread upon, to encounter successfully the greatest peril from the machination and persecutions with which Satan would fain thwart the preaching of the gospel. To treat with insult and contempt. Did we not insult them individuals that were spewing that madness, man? And he tried to tell me that I was a... I will I had hated my heart cause cause I ins insulted him. We, look, man, we you supposed to be insulted. The word rebuke means to put to shame. We supposed to put you to shame, man. Cause that's what you came out there intended to do to us when all we're doing is reading the scriptures. To treat with insult and contempt, to desecrate the holy city by devastation or out or outrage. A meaning, uh meaning a path. Yeah, that's it. But the main point there, it says to encounter successfully the greatest perils from the machination and persecutions with which Satan would fain thwart the preaching of the gospel. So we have power to overcome that. We have power to overcome Satan trying to uh, uh, deter the preaching of the gospel. It says, not, verse 20, notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Adwaramatazah, man. Lord willing, man. Our names are written in heaven. Sirach 21, verse 2. Flee from the face. So like it. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent, man. This nigga, this nigga had a serpent in his mouth, y'all. He brought a serpent up to the camp and put it in his mouth. All right, how spiritual is that? The scriptures say, let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians 2. No, 1 Corinthians 2 and uh, 14. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the spirit. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judge of all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. So if you have the spiritual eye, you know how spiritual that was, man. For him to come up with a serpent, let alone for him to put it in his mouth. Okay? Because the Lord said it is not that which goeth in a man. Let's go here. Um, Mark 7 and 20. Mark 7 and 19. Because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly, and goeth out into the drought, purging all meats. Uh, verse 20. And he said, That which cometh out of the man that defile of the man what does he mean by that the things that come out of a man the things that you speak mainly your false doctrine that's what defiles the man and that's what that brother was spewing man he said solomon was a false prophet he said Job was an edomite he said that the edomites could be saved he said that caleb was an edomite satan was in his mouth the serpent was in his mouth that's why that brother came up to the camp then another man came up to the camp with a serpent in his mouth while he was still there as a witness against him because that which comes out of the man that defileth the man I'm not defiled if I listen to Tupac Shakur hit him up okay I really don't really wouldn't do that but if I chose to do that that wouldn't defile me now this description this don't mean that you eat uh, pork shrimp crab and lobster either what it's going into is that the things that you put into your vessel or things that you absorb with your vessel, maybe uh, TV shows, a movie, you know, uh, music, you know, those things don't defile you. But it's the mindset and the things that you believe and the things that you speak that defiles you. It says, and he, and he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit lasciviousness and evil eye blasphemy pride foolishness all these evil things come from within and defile the man and these things are expressed through the tongue that's why the scriptures say that in james that the tongue is a world of iniquity so he had the serpent in his mouth for a reason sirach 2 21 verse 2 flee from sin as from the face of a serpent for if thou comest too near it it will bite thee the teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men. And what is that false doctrine? Okay, because a serpent in the wilderness, I mean, a serpent in the garden came to Eve with a false doctrine, a false way. Okay, and with that, they slay the souls of men. And that brother, that brother's gone, man. Both of them, the dude with the such snake in his mouth and the dude that was... Uh, fighting against Jerusalem and the whole entire camp, man. Both of them are gone, man. The serpent has 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 completely deceived them, which that was his job. The old serpent, the devil, which deceiveth the whole world. That's Revelation chapter twelve. And um, let's get that real quick. Let's close with that. So the book of Revelation chapter twelve. And uh, nine, he says, and the and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So the, the, the serpent, all right, going all the way back to the garden, man, which was an actual man, okay, which was an actual man, not a snake, but a man, all right, that was that was uh, uh, personified as a snake because of his subtility, okay. And this man deceived the nation of Israel, starting with Eve, and Eve uh, came and... and uh, you know, um, told Adam, and Adam was in return to see, and the nation of Israel fell from their first estate, man. You know, and then that all came via the tongue, man, via the, the snake being in in that man's mouth, okay, the serpent being in the mouth, man. So, Lord, when this is edifying, you know, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honor to the Apostle, it was a great millstone, brother Yaquam, Komi Ashrala, Shalom.